We live in a more divided time than ever. Anyway, here's the Q&A. Is climate change real? Climate change is as real as my tits. Interpret that how you will. Is female privilege real? Yes, it is. How come women get to have free drinks at a bar from some dude rubbing their thigh for 20 minutes and men don't? It's not fair. Fellas, redistribute the love. Thoughts on veganism. I was vegan for several years and there's this stereotype that vegans are obnoxious and self-righteous and that is 100% true. A lot of vegans will be like, you really shouldn't be drinking milk. Not only is it bad for your skin, but it's also an ethical and environmental nightmare. Here, have an Oreo. Thoughts on diversity. Some filmmaking dude DM'd me a while back and was like, I love your page and it's awesome that you're not only a woman, but a woman of color. Representation is so necessary. Very kind words, but I also didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. Representation of what? What am I representing? Is the woman of color community in dire need of mentally ill representation in the unemployed sector? Is white privilege real? I saw a TikTok where a girl said we place too much emphasis on looks and not enough on personality and intelligence. And she said as a joke that most of us who think we're hot shit probably can't even spell the word pharaoh. And she got a lot of backlash for this video. People said she was being misogynistic and some people even said she was being racist. This one white person commented and said, your privilege is showing. Spelling can be difficult for disabled people and people of color. What? People of color? Can't spell? Am I missing something? Who do you think has been bringing home the trophy at the Scripps National Spelling Bee year after year? Bitch. Thoughts on fast fashion. I love that fast fashion has been repackaged as like anti-classism. Like if you see an influencer post a Shein haul and somebody comments being like, yeah, their factory workers literally want to be dead. They try and kill themselves. Nine out of 10 times the influencer will be like, not everyone can afford ethically sourced clothing. I'm showing affordable and accessible options. Like, Fuck off. You're advertising a two-piece floral set so sheer it shows your labia. These aren't the essential items that struggling people look for. You're not clothing the poor in BBL rompers. What shape is the earth? Do I even have to say? Should trans people be allowed to use the bathroom? No. Is class mobility a myth? No, it's not. The amount of dudes I know who were born into the top 3% and somehow turned that into a net worth of $8 and a pair of Yeezys has assured to me that the American class system is a game of shoots and ladders. Thoughts on mental health? A lot of people think that mental health is being romanticized on social media. That, you know, every other post you see is some bitch bragging about her Zoloft dosage. And, you know, I take destigmatizing mental illness very seriously because I've actually lost a family member to suicide. But if I had seen them post a TikTok saying, when he thinks you're going through his phone crazy, but you're vanilla pudding in a psych ward crazy, I do think the mourning process would have been shorter. Just kidding, of course. Your mental illness is valid, even if you can't shut up about it. Thoughts on white feminism. Obviously there are feminists who don't give a shit about POC, but lately people just use the phrase white feminism to mock women with impunity. And I'm begging you to grow a pair. Drop the white. People will be like, this girl said rape is bad. Fucking white feminist. I saw a TikTok saying it's white feminism when girls show off their armpit hair because women of color are held to higher standards of femininity, which, valid. But then I opened the comment section and it's a bunch of dudes being like, no, for real, can't stand that shit. Like, shut the fuck up. That is not why you can't stand that shit. Like, I don't think the reason these dudes are leaving vomit emojis in the comment sections of girls with body hair is because they care about the nuances of intersectional feminism. Is the gender wage gap real? No, it's not. I, a female physician, earn just as much as my husband, who works at Dunkin'. Thoughts on rich people going thrifting? You know, as somebody who grew up on used clothing, I find it really gross and offensive that so many of you try to gatekeep secondhand shopping. Oh, but girls are flipping pieces for a profit. So? Do you know how many clothes we have on this planet? Every time I go to a Goodwill, they practically beg me to burn the place down. They don't ring me up for half my shit, they're just trying to get rid of it. We ship off 15 million used garments to landfills in Ghana weekly, and you think Goodwill shoppers are facing some sort of clothing drought just because some bitches on Depop think they're the next Sofia Amoruso? Thoughts on Pick Me Girls? What's a Pick Me Girl? They're these girls who pretend they like beer and burgers and sports and hanging out with guys, but 
Really, they're just doing it all so dudes want to fuck them. If I said any of that, you'd call me a misogynist. No, no, you don't get it. I'm saying all this to call out internalized misogyny. I mean, these girls are fucking whores. Should the minimum wage be raised? Yes, the minimum wage of consent should be raised to 50. I'm sick of giving face to these old fucks with oatmeal cum. Minimum wage. What? It's what you get paid per hour at a job. Don't care. Thoughts on the don't say gay bill? Gay bill. Bill is gay. Bill is a dirty little homo that likes getting it in his- I don't know what that means. 